So it's a pleasure to now welcome onto the show. Well, if James Brown was the godfather of soul, I think we can call this guy the godfather of cooking. One of the biggest stars around at the moment, star of Saturday Kitchen on BBC, James Martin. <laughs> James Brown. Put me up there with a level with James Brown. Well, you know, there's a slight connection. You're both named <laughs> Isn't James. <laughs> Isn't there? That's about it, really. And that's the, where it ends. You're the godfathers yeah, of your ends. profession. How's things, James? I'm very well. Still standing upright, which is which is always quite a bonus as a chef, yeah. Well, you're on the show uh, to talk about uh, something you've got involved with with Yahoo for. Apparently, 40% of us wish to be better cooks. We do. Yes, exactly. And, you know, I think it's popularity in food in general that's increasing that. Um, and I think this percentage will even go further up. And I think, you know, it's great that somebody like you who um, answers have commissioned this survey um, and enable people to log on and put their own questions to everybody else who's part of the internet world. You know, I mean, I set up by putting a question on there, um, which was just simple. What do you think the secret is of being a successful cook? And then all of a sudden, all these, it started the ball rolling. And we've got all kinds of top tips from um, everybody all over the UK. So why do you think there's sudden interest in cooking again? Is it because of the health thing that it's been in the press so much about people being unhealthy eaters at the moment? Or is it because of all these uh, sexy young male cooks on our TV screens at the moment? <laughs> I, <don't laughs> about that. I get on my eyes about this, this healthy sort of stuff. It kind of does my head in. Mm. Because, um, you know, on the one hand, you know, the government say we need to cut this and we cut that and we cut that. And then on the other hand, they'll let them build another 10 more supermarkets in a village, you know, and... And I think the two generally don't go together. I think, you know, until we understand what's on our doorstep and until we appreciate that the art of being on a healthy diet is eating good food and not necessarily munching on lettuce leaves all day, you know, most of the amount of problems with our salt intake isn't the salt that we put on our fish and chips. It's the salt that's added into drinks, um, hidden food in, in packet meals. So where do you stand on the whole Jamie Oliver thing then, James? Are you with well, him on his crusade? Because to be totally honest with you, I, he really he starts to annoy me because he just gets on his high horse all the time. He's turned into the food version of Bob Geldof. <laughs> but the trouble is, you can't change the world on your own, and and it, you know, and I think you know it's great that he's made it aware. But then again, the government promised so much and then didn't deliver. You know, I mean, me personally, I think you know the best way to teach kids how to cook is by teaching the adults and I think they're the ones that are teaching their kids the bad habits of today and it's their fault talking about healthy cooking and stuff because I'm a desserts man myself and <laughs> yes. I'd, rather, I'd rather miss a star to have two desserts yeah. that's why I like you because you've got your, everything you concentrate on your desserts that's your main yeah. thing um, and I made one last night it's very nice yeah, the Coca-Cola cake from your book really it's ah. a Coca-Cola cake very very nice it's just brilliant so what is it's your easy, favorite it? yeah it's easy that's the thing though you make things <laughs> that are easy to make and everyone can do it. That's why I <laughs> manage it, really. Well, I try to. That, thanks very much for that. <laughs> yeah. uh... Is it true, James, as well? Because we read something uh, the other day that you actually start the day with a Mars bar and a yeah. can of Coke. Is that true? That's it. Why? Because yeah. <laughs> I, I, I wake up in the morning. I'm not one of these people like most people would do. Wake up in the morning, touch the alarm and put it on snooze. And then oh, I'll give it another five minutes or uh, another ten minutes. I'm out the door within ten minutes. And is that enough, you Showered. think? Well, I mean... <laughs> Yeah, you can sit there and have a full-blown meal, but then again, you know, generally I'd, I get up at about five o'clock in the morning, uh, five, six o'clock in the morning. And generally, hey, what's wrong with good old cornflakes? Well, nothing, <laughs> but I just don't really have time for that. You know, I'll grab something maybe when I get to the restaurant or whatever, but, you know, I'll, I kind of grab something on the hoof, really. And But I always sit down and have a full-blown meal at some, some time of the day, yeah. be it lunch or be it dinner. So I'll always eat a cooked meal. I'd never... I haven't got a microwave in my house. It's been banned. <laughs>